Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, racing at the garrison, Savannah had not been on his portfolio prior to this past weekend, but this five-year-old gelding slams the Sandalay in Barbados Gold Cup field on her experienced jockey, Antonio Bishop. A five-year-old gelding stars at Jamaica's Caymanus Park as well, Yellowstone in the SVREL 7th Anniversary Trophy. Another John Brand feature race triumph in TNT, Uncle Raj winning the Chief Commander Classic at Santa Rosa Park. And the familiar story of added money success in Florida for Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. Plus the usual weekly stats of Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our opening story from Barbados. There's nothing like Sandalane Gold Cup Day in Barbados. Saturday's attendance estimated at 10,000. Eight starters for the second richest event in Caricom horse racing at 107,000 US dollars. Only Jamaica's Mute Mile richer than the Gold Cup. Barbadian eight-time jockey of the year in Canada, Patrick Husbands, aboard the favorite. Number nine, Jerry the Nipper, trained by multiple Eclipse Award-winning champion trainer in the USA, Todd Pletcher. The top contenders for the ninth furlong run, number one, Pat Sewing Machine, winner of the Coolmore Home of Champions Gold Cup prep last month at 6-1. to one. Number four, So Suave, who was third last year at 7-1. to one. Another top U.S. trainer, Chad Brown, has a five-horse portfolio company at 6-1 to one odds. Barbadian superstar trainer, Savvy Joseph's Cash Equity, a 7-2 second favorite in post position six. And it's 4-5 to five for the favorite, Jerry the Nipper who raced toward the back of the field early while Savage Joseph's other entry, Spy Novel and Renaissance Frolic from the barn of champion trainer Andrew Nunes set the fractions, watched in the com box by Dean Springer. Spy Novel to Sean Hazelwood taking no prisoners, that's the leader. Renaissance Frolic talking in second. Behind these comes Portfolio Company, a length and a half to Pat Sewing Machine and Saw Swap, body top to the outside. The Grace Cash Equity moving up along the inside there as well is the favorite, which is Jerry the Nipper, the half mile completed in 49 and change as they head towards the far turn. A spy novel continues to lead from Renaissance Frolic as they head up the hill. The one on the outside making good run is Portfolio Company. Pat Sewing Machine is there, thereabouts. Cash Equities begin his run. And the favorite has about six to find. Jerry the Nipper has about seven to find. Inside the quarter pole they come. And the leader is now on the inside. Spy Novel, but on the outside, Portfolio Company comes to ask a question. Jerry the Nipper, it has a lot to do. Cash Equity trying to close, and there are no more turns. And it's Portfolio Company on the inside, on the outside. Cash Equity running at him. It's Portfolio Company and Cash Equity. Portfolio Company and Cash Equity. Portfolio Company and Cash Equity. It's a ding dong battle to the line, and the line is admirable. A riveting finish, Antonia Bishop's vigorous ride and right-hand whipping aboard Portfolio Company, who had surged to the front coming off the final bend, fending off this stout outside challenge from France bred cash equity with multiple champion jockey Rashid Hughes up, two US entries racing at the garrison for the first time. Bishop prevails in the end to give owner Mrs. Gay Smith her fourth Sandalane Gold Cup triumph and Bishop his second, local preparation of the winner and trainer Chad Brown's absence, Eddie Walcott Jr. Trevor Williams, the groom. A very satisfying win this for the 34-year-old Jock Bishop, a four-time Derby winner with a long-standing partnership with Mrs. Gay Smith, who gave him his first Gold Cup win with Zoom in 2011 and Triple Crown success as well two seasons ago with Hurricane. Honestly, it was always my dream, first of all, to ride a horse that my boss has brought in. And I got my chance and I came through with it. Portfolio Company at 6 to 1 odds wins the San Delane Barbados Gold Cup by a half length over Cash Equity and Pat Sewing Machine. His winning time for nine furlongs, 1 minute 49 and 3 fifths. The quickest Gold Cup run this since Dorset's 2016 score in 1 49 and 2 fifths. And Jockey Bishop told CBC TV8's Anne Marie Burke he knew he had a great shot given the quality of his horse. He was extremely well coming out to the race and I went to the race with a lot of confidence. The only other horse I had as a father was my stable mate. But after doing my homework, if it came down to a fight, I would be better off than him. So I don't think I had any worries. Rash had you there holding coming into the final for longs. Did you think, you know, that you could really get past Rash and get that edge over cash equity? Honestly, that was not really a factor to me because when I was doing my homework with the horse, he's a fighter. So even if he joined me, he still have to fight to pass me. So it was okay. 
Jockey Bishop for owner Mrs. Gay Smith also made a bid for Saturday's secondary feature Tango with Stakes with the Eddie Walcott trained supermodel. They put in a good shift, but there was no stopping the 2 to 1 bet undisputed under a peach of a ride from Rico Walcott. As they pass the port of pole, and it is still an indelible in front. Phil Moritz is throwing down the challenge at 21 to 1. It was just about a furlong and a half to go, and it is a very, very keenly contested race at the top of the lane. Here comes Undisputed, who's going to Pick it up. Undisputed picks it up. The others are trying desperately, but it is undisputed on the outside. The supermodel, but it is going to be undisputed who's going to win the tangle with. Undisputed wins it. Neil Gill on commentary, undisputed, half-brother to last year's Tanglewood winner and former Triple Crown King People's Champ, pulling clear on Rika Walcott's left-hand whipping, showing the skills that brought him 13 jockeys titles in Canada at Northlands Park, Century Mile and Century Downs. Walcott with a fine win here, the result also giving TNT owner Stefan Narain Singh back-to-back Tanglewood wins, part owner of People's Champ and also in Undisputed's fearsome foursome owners group that includes Lou Rollins, Patrick Drake and Andrew Nunes. Runner-up in the 2022 Tanglewood, Undisputed gets his second big victory in the last three starts. Having won last November's BTBA Breeders' Classic, he was a 2-1 favourite. Supermodel closing for second, three and a quarter lengths behind. A 10 furlong winning time of 2.12.60 for champion trainer Andrew Nunes and groom Keith Samuels. Saturday's other big ticket event on Gold Cup Day was the Sandalane Spa Sprint. Sir David Seal's speedster Dominus under jockey Ray Williams in the red and black silks, a heavy favourite and led as he was expected to but could not repel Zaid's finishing burst on the outside with Canada-based jockey Eswan Flores. Zaid is picking up a put him away. Zaid wins the spa, wins it now. Owned and trained by Jean Marcosier, the winning groom Harry Carter, Zaid scores as a 6-1 to bet on the Mexico-born jockey Flores. Dominus, the beaten spa sprint favourite for the second year in a row. A length and three quarters behind in second spot, 105 and two-fifths, the winning time for five and a half furlongs. Another fabulous Sandalee and Barbados Gold Cup day in the history books. To Jamaica now, where Saturday's main event at Caymanus Park was the SVREL 7th Anniversary Trophy event. Morning line favourite sensational moves scratched, leaving champion trainer Jason Costa's Madeline Sunshine as the betting choice. But his five-year-old mare in second spot here having some trouble tackling the front-running Yellowstone. As they blast past the three and run toward the 5-16th Yellowstone with a controlled lead. Holding on to the advantage, Emperor of the Cats coming out wide. Madeline Sunshine will come in between horses, but now switch down against the rail. And at the back of the field, it's press conference. It's a Yellowstone out in front under the left-hand stick. As they run toward the furlong pole, Emperor of the Cats racing out wide. Madeline Sunshine is over against the rail, but Yellowstone continues to pour it on. They run toward the final 16th in this, the SVRL 7th Anniversary Trophy and Yellowstone. A fantastic performance in the event with win by five or more. Bagdon Sunshine is second. Second week in a row, apprentice Jordan Barrett wins the Caymanus feature. The previous week, the chairman's trophy with Is That a Fact? Now staring Yellowstone to a surprisingly easy win. By a commanding six and a quarter lengths at two to one odds for owners Gregory Stewart and Hilton Hamilton and a trainer Alfred Brown. Madeline Sunshine, the favourite second. Trainer Jason Acosta denied back-to-back wins in the SVREL anniversary event after scoring last year with I Am Fred. 107 and 4 fifths, the winning time for five and a half furlongs. Trinidad and Tobago scaled down racing operations, had only a second race meet of the year on Saturday, and the main event at Santa Rosa Park was the Chief Commander Classic, headlining a six-race card. The event over a mile on turf, only one past rear in the field, the six-horse El Rey Sanjay. And as John Rupert picks up the call, it's one of the most experienced in the lineup, Red Alert, after leading soon after the start, still in front as the pace quickens, heading for the home stretch. They come out from the far turn, and Red Alert, still the leader, Uncle Raj, is about to make his presence known. Red Alert, Uncle Raj, that's the top two. El Rey Sanjay still being urged on in third. Then comes Unbelievable and Secret Pages as they come to the top of the stretch and Red Alert is battling Uncle Raj through. El Rey Sanjay is now asked for his effort. Unbelievable is running on, but Uncle Raj has taken over the lead from Red Alert. El Rey Sanjay is very late on the scene. Uncle Raj got first jump and Uncle Raj goes on to win the Chief Commander by three. A maiden win this from four stars for Uncle Raj. That prolific combination again. Champion jockey Bran Budram Singh for champion trainer John O'Bran, who wins his sixth Chief Commander Classic in ten stagings of the event. 
PT Racing's Uncaraj scores by two and three quarter lengths as the even money favourite Red Alert at 11 to 1 and the 6 to 5 second favourite El Rey Sanjay closest at the finish to Uncaraj's winning time of 140.06 for the one mile trip. Let's close out the show now with that Sapi Joseph story from Gulfstream Park in Florida. Coming off his milestone 1,000 wins in North America late last month, the Barbadian now heading for 100 stakes wins on the continent. He had his 8 to 9th on Saturday. In the one-mile Colonel Liam Stakes on turf, Joseph's front-running colt, the five-horse Abramar, was the second favourite in the hands of Paco Lopez, who skillfully regulated a suitable pace and then set about fending off a wall of horses coming at him into the home stretch. Now the pace quickens with Abramar just ahead in front. Three wide, Cugino's going to force Silent Heart to go. At the inside, it's Rapture Bay, who's now fourth. Triple Espresso wide and needs to do a bit better than that as they run to the top of the stretch. From between horses, it's Silent Heart down at the inside, Abramar. Cugino with every opportunity down the stand side. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Abramar digging in gamely for Paco. Cugino and Silent Heart right alongside. Almost three in line as they drive for the wire. It's Abramar who would not be denied. Kenneth Ramsey's Abramar excitingly runs his winning streak to three straight with a gutsy neck victory in Saturday's $200,000 Colonel Liam Stakes as a 3-1 to one second favorite under Paco Lopez's fine ride. 137.11 Abramar's winning time for a mile. A good weekend for Safi who had a triple on Sunday and is now 11 wins away from 100 stakes victories in North America. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA before we go. In the past week since our last show, I've counted 13 victories. Among them, the Jamaican champion trainer Jason Acosta with two wins on Monday at Mahoning Valley in Ohio, where one of those victories was actually a stakes win. At that same racetrack, the Jamaican trainer Ricardo Bailey has had three wins in the past week. Naipaul Chatapol, the Guyanese trainer, had a win at New York's Aqueduct racetrack. And at Charlestown in West Virginia, the Barbadian jockeys Rashawn Latchman and Kimar Trotman had victories in the past week. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.